Hey, it's Gordon Vanderpool from Turning Stones Fly Fish, and today I'm going to do the third midge in my series of three of midges that I always have in my box. Size 16 Sabre, 7251, 2.0 black nickel tungsten bead, um, UTC 70 black. This is the one I like to use in uh, darker off-colored waters if midge or small mayfly is still what's on the menu. This contrast of the darker color stands out better in the murky water. Next, extra small silver UTC wire. Slide that right in there. Don't ask me why silver on this. Just what I've always done on it. So I'm going to use the wire as a ramp for the thread to slide down. Keep everything side by side until right when the thread is about to hit the hook point. And it's time to go the other way. Good gauge for you guys if you're new to tying on like a scud or hook like this to kind of get an idea how far down to run your bodies. Now I'm going to build up a slight taper. Midges aren't big thick flies here, at least here where we're at. They tend to run small. I'll do this in a size 16 through 20. So I'm trying to build the taper up a little bit. I feel if you can get the silhouette in the shade close, you're in the game. They are fish after all. They're not that smart. Okay, so now I'm going to rib this baby. I think people get too fancy sometimes. I mean, I always say I tie simple bugs, and I do. I appreciate those fancy tires, but I just, at least on the waters where I'm at, I'm definitely not going to say it's like that everywhere, because I'm sure some of those midgy rivers, if you're not right on point, then you're out of the game. But Okay, so quick whip finish. That's not the end of it, though. Okay, gonna be part two. 16 knot Vivas chartreuse. Let's lock this thread in and take that tag and wrap it around there once. Another wrap. That'll get that secured in there for you. And I'm gonna wrap back just a pinch. I'm gonna add this black peacock tub. I don't know if you can see it or not i got to get better at putting that in front of the camera instead of half of it. Not going to do a very big thorax here. But just a little bit. <clears throat> so remember, keep it sparse. It's very easy to overdub, especially on something like this where you know you want to keep it little. So careful not to do so. Okay. So wrap. There's that. Now <clears throat> that I have it in there, like I say, you see it's sparse. A couple little scragglers. I'm going to wrap behind the head here until I start seeing the thread behind the bead, sorry. And then when I do, I'm going to try to do my whip, whip finish right on top of that. Make a little hot collar. Lock that down and do one more. This stands out good in murky water. <clears throat> Hence making it one of my favorites. Lock it down. The beast is done. Get a little clear cure goo. Toughen him up a little bit. Get the bodkin. Just this little step right here it makes the fly 80% tougher. Gives a nice little shimmer too. You see that UV light, that torch, what it does to that. It's that fluorescent thread. And it makes it stand out to the fishy. So if there's a thousands of these little guys floating down through there and my silhouette's right, see that weird little collar something to stand out for them and that contrasting agent between the black and black with this helps mine stand out over theirs 
good fly. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And there's three midges that are always in my box at all times. So thank you so much. Have a good day. Take care.